Hi everyone, welcome to Famous Artists, Henri Matisse. I think you've already learned a little bit about Henri, but he was known for his famous paintings and he was in the Fauvist group and Fauvist in French means the wild beasts because he used so many bright colors. We're gonna be making one of his cut out collage and we're gonna be using scissors and glue. And some of you uh, will be making your very own paper. I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you do not have your very own paper, I have a lesson at the end of how to draw your own Henri Matisse uh, abstract. It does not have to look this complex. If you look at Henri Matisse's work, you can see that it can be very simple. So if your artwork looks like this, that's okay. It can be a little bit more complex like this. And I'll show you how to do this later. And if you really want to get fancy, you can be as complex as this. And I show you how to do this at the very end of the video for those of you who want to do an advanced art project. All right, everybody, are you ready? Let's make art. The materials are simple. We will be using scissors to cut out simple shapes. Shapes can be geometric or they can be freeform. I think you saw a lot of freeform shapes in Matisse's art. If you don't have colored construction paper, you can use gift wrap or you can make your own colored paper. I'm going to make my own colored paper. I'm going to divide this white piece of paper and show you four different ways to make your own colored paper. You can make one of them or all of them or whatever you have materials for. The first thing I'm going to use is a pencil and I'm going to divide it in half this way and this way. You can divide yours however you wish. You can divide it in strips or you can just do half and half with different ones. I'm going to be using regular markers, Sharpies, crayons, watercolor, or a mixture of all of those. I'm going to do this very fast, so Take a look. As you can see, there's a variety of different ways you can do this. You can draw your shapes ahead of time. You can actually make paper to cut things out of, or you can just make designs that you can cut things out of already. This is Sharpie on top of watercolor. This is crayon first with watercolor over. This is regular washable marker, and these are Sharpies. Of course, you can do this in regular washable markers. If you don't have paints, um, don't use them. This is just ideas for whatever you have at home. If all you have are markers, that's fine. If all you have are crayons, just draw designs with crayons. Okay, everybody, let's get started. Starting with one sheet of paper, it does not have to be white. It can be any color that you wish. I'm gonna start with white and you have all of your different kinds of paper, including gift wrap. So when you're ready, you merely have to draw what you wish on your paper. I might like to make just a triangle. So I can actually just draw a line across the edge of this paper and when I cut it out, it will form a triangle. Or I might want to do a freeform shape like this. 
and I can draw it like that. I might just want to use a strip of paper. So I can take the end of it and draw like this. If I want two of the same kind of paper, all I have to do is place a second sheet under it, and when I cut it, I will have two. Let's try the triangle. We have blue and yellow. Now I have one of each. Maybe I'd like to make this one with the colored paper that I made. Mm, where would I like it to be? Maybe in this corner. I'm going to cut out my free form with my colored paper underneath, and I should end up with two. I'm not worrying too much about being perfect because when I glue this down, I'm going to glue it so that the pencil side doesn't show. Let's see how it turned out. Now I have two shapes. That's got a little bit on it, but if I overlap them, it'll look just fine. Now it's time to decide how you want to make your collage. Do you remember this paper? I cut it into long triangles. I can even cut my gift wrap paper. Oh, look what I cut out here. I like that. I'm going to put that here. I think I'll add another one of these. There's lots of different ways you can have everything on here. I can even cut out a shape that I drew. I chose this one. Where should it go? Maybe down here? Maybe another one of these up here? around on your paper until they're just where you want and just how you want it to be. Then it's time to glue. So now it is all glued and you can see that I made a few changes as I was working. Uh, I took something off, I added something else, I added a swirly that sticks up, pops up in the middle. There's a lot of different ways you can do this. If you look at Matisse's work, like this, you can make it as simple as this one right here. This is actually his work. And you can just make simple shapes. You can even tear them, whatever would work for you. You can go as simple as this one. You just need several colors of paper, draw one leaf, and simply cut all different leaves out of it and put it on your paper in a different way. It's complex yet it's very easy to do. You don't have to work too hard on it. Then there's the one at the bottom. This is probably the most complex. That is something that you would have to draw on the back of a piece of paper, cut out, and then flip it over so you don't see the pencil lines. To make this design right here, you would simply have a black piece of paper that you would fold in half. And you could cut out simple designs from the middle of where the fold is. 
almost like a snowflake. And when you open it up, voila, you have these kinds of designs here that when you fold it, it's like this. Boys and girls, the last thing I'm going to say to you is that you do not need to do a collage. You can draw your very own Matisse collage with your markers or whatever you need. All you would need to do is draw simple shapes. So you could begin by drawing a circle. That maybe has um, a diamond shape over here. You can use the colors that you wish just to make it more interesting. Maybe you have some swirly lines over to one side. Maybe you have a horse in here that's looking down. Maybe your horsey's looking down. Maybe there's a lightning bolt that goes through it like this. One of the most famous works of art of Henri Matisse is called Nightmare of the White Elephant. And I think you would enjoy that very much. I think some of you have already seen it. You can put shapes inside shapes. You can let them overlap each other. You can thicken them. So you can see where they're going. If you make two of these. Second graders already know how to do this. And everybody else who took that one with me. Maybe this horse has some designs on it. Could have black and white designs, like the ones that we saw. He has a mane that has diamonds in it, rectangles or triangles, and we could color around those. So boys and girls, if you don't have the kind of paper that you need for this, you can make your very own Matisse collage or abstract by drawing it. Here we are with our finished product. You can make your cutout abstract inspired by Matisse or you can draw your own abstract. I hope you had fun. See you next time.